Hi everybody, it's Misty from Adamson Equestrian. Today I'm gonna to take you through how I clean my tack, so stick around. This is my HDR Memorex Close Contact Saddle that I bought in October of 2020. So I've had it for about four months now and it's probably really horrible to say so, but I've not cleaned it once. So this will be the first time that it gets cleaned. And cleaning your tack really depends upon how often you ride and how sweaty your horse gets in those rides. If you're more of a pleasure type rider and your horse doesn't really get sweaty and your tack doesn't really get dirty, then you know you probably don't have to clean it as often. But as sweat starts to build up on the leather, it can really damage your tack. So um, you wanna try to clean it relatively often. I had good intentions. I thought that I would try to clean this once a week. Uh, some people clean their tack every day. I do not have time for that. I have a job. Um, and I'm pretty much rushing around every moment of my life, it seems like. So I'm gonna try to stick to maybe once a month from here on out because I am not rich and I need my stuff to actually last. So taking good care of your tack will ensure that that happens. Even though I don't clean my tack every time that I ride, I do take really good care of my saddle. It doesn't stay in the barn where it can get dusty and dirty. It always stays under this cover and um, I do try to wipe it off a little bit every once in a while. So I do try to remove some of the dirt, especially before I get on. So, <laughs> but how often you actually clean your tack and how well you clean your tack is completely up to you. Hit me up in the comments and let me know how often you clean your stuff and why. And yeah, let's get into this. Some of the things that you're gonna need when you're cleaning your saddle are a couple of towels, some uh, Q-tips, a toothbrush if you uh, wanna get into those nooks and crannies. This is some leather conditioner. I've got my saddle soap, two clean sponges, and a bowl of warm water. These little things are actually stirrup covers. They're supposed to protect my saddle from my stirrup irons being on all the time and um, we'll talk about that more later, but these are the things that you're going to need to clean your tack with. First thing that we've got to do is to deconstruct the saddle, which basically just means taking the stirrup irons and leathers off. So I'm going to do that now. After you take all the um, irons and leathers off, you want to go over your saddle with a damp cloth to get all the excess dirt and hair off. So that's what I'm going to do now. And I mean, you want to really wring out your rag. You know, don't just don't just spritz water on your saddle. That is no bueno. Um, so you just use a super damp cloth. It doesn't have to be wringing wet. Um, a lot of people, myself included, used to think that uh, water and leather was not a good combo. And it's not when it's in excess. Um, you kind of need water to clean your saddle good. So a lot of people will just wipe their saddle down with their um, leather conditioner and call it good but you're actually creating an extra layer of dirt. Like you're just rubbing the dirt into your saddle. You're not actually removing it. So you wanna just use a super damp cloth to get all the extra uh, dirt, hair, and sweat off. Now one thing that you do wanna think about is if your knee blocks are made of suede, or if your seat is made of suede, do not put water on those that will ruin <laughs> your saddle. So just the parts that are leather. Rinse and repeat often, but again, super damp cloth. <laughs> One other thing that you do need to consider is that if you have wool flocking, 
Um, that's another reason why you don't want to have a super wet rag to clean your saddle with. And the reason for that is because you don't want to get all that wet. I finished getting all the excess dirt and hair off of my saddle and in some cases I've used a little toothbrush to kind of get into these hard to reach spots right here. Um, so you can use that, you can use um, cotton swabs, these little doohickey majibbers. Um, well, do, do whatever you gotta do to get into those nooks and crannies. So once all this stuff is removed, all the hair and the dirt are removed, uh, now I'm going to apply the saddle soap. To do that, I'm just going to wet a sponge damply. <laughs> Damp is the word of the day. And I just have this regular old saddle soap that you can buy at any tax store, TSC, wherever. So with my damp sponge, I'm going to work it in there and get some soap on there and i'm just going to work the soap into the leather in a circle and again make sure you get underneath everything because that's where all the dirt likes to accumulate I honestly like to work in sections i don't like to let the soap dry on my saddle so the next part of this would actually be to use a damp cloth to rinse your saddle off or your soap off. So I'm gonna do that with the same cloth that I use to remove the dirt. If you get a super dirty rag from cleaning your saddle, obviously get a new fresh rag to rinse your saddle with. I'm going to keep working in sections, so I'm going to do this section now. Um, you can kind of see where my leathers sit and my iron sit. That stuff's eventually going to start to ruin your saddle, which is another reason why I got these little things um, that will actually go over my stirrup irons to protect my saddle from this stuff happening. So. Um, these are great little things and I'll leave the link for these down below. I got these on Etsy. She does all sorts of colors and patterns. So I'll leave the link for that below. And basically you're just going to rinse and repeat, you know, you want to make sure to get all of the saddle soap off because if you don't, it's kind of like shampooing your own hair. Your hair is porous, just like your saddle is. And, um, if you leave extra soap on there, it's just gonna attract more dirt over time. So you wanna make sure to rinse it well. And by rinsing, I mean with a super damp cloth. Um, so basically the same way that you got the excess dirt in here off. So give it a, give it a wipe down a couple times. Make sure you got all the saddle soap off. Moving on, just going to work on this part right here. I like to usually take a, a towel and just, you know, it's clean and it's dry just to get the extra water off. You never want to douse your saddle. You want it to be nice and dry. Last but not least, I'm gonna work on this seat. And again, just use a damp cloth, damp sponge, uh, dry everything off with a clean dry towel in between your sections, just to make sure that, you know, you don't want water soaking or sitting on your leather. So you just wanna use enough just to get the dirt out or rinse the uh, soap off. So don't use a ton of water, just a little bit. On this saddle, the flap it has kind of a textured pattern in the leather. For this, you know, if, if your saddle is like this, you can always use a toothbrush to kind of get the extra dirt and stuff out of the little grooves here. Now that my saddle is clean, the very last step is to apply a leather conditioner. You want to do this because over time, leather will start to dry and crack, and then it just starts to tear apart. And if you want your stuff to last, 
you need to use some conditioner on it. Again, I'm gonna use the hair example. Leather is like hair. <laughs> you don't wanna use a ton of anything. A little goes a long way. So just like with our hair, you don't stick a crap ton of leave-in conditioner in before you just go off into the world. You don't have to use a ton, just a little bit. Kind of goes without saying, but don't use the same sponge to apply your leather conditioner as you do to put the saddle soap on. So change out your sponge. I like to do the same thing when I'm applying my leather conditioner as I do with my saddle soap. And so I just work in circles, in sections, and uh, kind of wipe off the excess, whatever's left over with a clean, dry towel. Because again, you, you don't need to use a ton. This is the reason why you want to apply a leather conditioner after you're done cleaning your saddle because over time your leather is going to start to break down like this. So you really want to condition it because you don't want your entire saddle starting to look like this cracked leather. And with that being said, a lot of people just focus on the big parts of their saddle. You want to get these small bits too because that stuff is what's going to break down the quickest, I think. Uh, just because it doesn't get paid as much attention to. So make sure you get every little part of your saddle. Uh, just because you want it to last a long time, take good care of it, and it will. One other thing that you have to think about in cleaning your saddle is the underside. I don't think a lot of people probably clean this because this is all that you see. So if you actually want to take care of your tack, Get the underside too. So you're going to do the exact same thing. Uh, wipe it down with a damp cloth to remove the excess hair and sweat and dirt. Saddle soap. Leather conditioner. So just do the same, same steps as you do for the outside. But again, remember that a lot of saddles do have wool flocking. So don't use too much water. Just a little bit. The last step in cleaning your saddle is... Enjoying the fact that it's clean for two seconds because you know you're gonna go out First time that you go back to the barn to ride it's gonna get dirty again So sit back and admire your handiwork and remember what it looks like. Remember the good times I'll be doing a three-part series on cleaning your tack. So today obviously we talked about cleaning your saddle Next week I'm gonna talk about cleaning your bridle and bit and the third part of the series is cleaning your leathers and your irons so stick around for that. Check back again next week. I'll be doing that on Wednesday and Saturday of next week. So be sure to come back and check that out. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And happy riding!